well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. You're saying to yourself, he's making a lot of movies, and what is the matter with him? Well, the fact is, uh, A, got nothing else to do. Uh, B, uh, I'm off on a little trip to ride Cycle Island end to end. I may not make a video while I'm away, so I thought I'd leave you guys uh, with some content to watch while I'm away. And I always remember that old, that old, <laughs> sound like Fraser in Dad's Army, that old Hollywood comment, uh, leave them wanting less. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you wanting less. So what am I doing today? Well, I thought I'd do number three. Uh, is it number three in a series? I've done uh, how to pack a backpack. I've done how to pack a Cycon bike bag. So I thought what I'd do for you is probably the most important one if you're going on a trip or a holiday or an adventure. What has Julian got in his toilet bag? Oh, 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 yes, we're going to find out. So come with me and let's go to the toilet. Well, obviously, the uh, first and most important thing you need is a portable toilet. Now, I managed to get this. Uh, I got this from uh, AliExpress, a, a Chinese company. It took a while uh, to deliver, two and a half years, uh, actually. And I had to pay, I had to pay import duties, uh, VAT, Brexit tax, you know, stuff like that, um, in order to get into this uh, sovereign nation. But it's just, it's just come out. Well, it came out two and a half years ago, but I've only just got mine now. And it is, yes, a portable toilet. Now, you're saying this. Pull up, come on, Julian. How you can, how is, how does that become a portable toilet? Well, because it's because it's new and because it's still relatively secret, I'm not going to show you how the unportability, or rather the unfolding of it, because it's like a, it's like a Brompton in a way. It's like a Brompton bog. If you can imagine a Brompton bog that you could take onto a tube and then you unfold and you can have a dump in it. So it's a bit like that. So I'm gonna, this is it in its folded state. And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you the unfolding of it, that's, you know, that's, that's a trade secret, but I will show you what it looks like when it's unfolded. So, you know how they do that in videos? I don't know how they go from that to the next scene. Anyway, I'll go like that, and then, and then, well, that's what it turns into. It turns into a toilet. What do you think a portable toilet was going to turn into? I mean, it's a toilet, it's portable. Anyway, now you've seen it, let's get back to the rest of the video. Now I also have uh, a mask uh, in case I need to adopt some kind of disguise in Ireland. I have uh, some suntan cream, although the sun never shines in Ireland. I have this, this is, this is travel wash. Now you'll see uh, that I've written travel wash on it and you're thinking to yourself, why has he written travel wash on a bottle of travel wash? Well, first of all, this is not a bottle of travel wash. It is a bottle of travel wash now, but it, isn't, it didn't start off as a bottle of travel wash, but because the travel wash that I had came in a great big bottle, which I didn't want to take to Ireland, I decanted it like it, was a, like it was a fine wine. I decanted it into this small bottle and because I might get confused and think that this small bottle is actually mouthwash or something, which I don't think it, Hang on a minute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck off, oh, fucking hell, that is not mouthwash. I can tell you that is travel wash. Good thing I wrote on there. So I've got some travel wash uh, so I can wash myself while I'm traveling. I've also got uh, some pseudocram in case I get a sore bum from all the cycling. I've also got some insect repellent in case I get an insect bite on my bum while I'm cycling. I've also got some uh, bigger bottle of suntan lotion so I can protect my bum from the sun. And I've got some uh, Rafa chamois cream again so I can protect my bum while I'm cycling. Now incidentally the chamois cream that is in this tub of Rafa chamois cream is not Rafa chamois cream. And you're thinking, oh for God's sake, he's decanted cheap chamois cream into a raffa pot so it looks like he's got raffa chamois cream when in fact he got it from Aldi. Uh, no, that's not true. What I actually did was decanted Assos, Ass, you, you, get, the, you get the link, Ass, Assos um, chamois cream into this raffa pot because the Assos pot is too big, all right? So this is a raffa chamois cream pot with Assos chamois cream in it. So you think, well, what's he done with the Rafa chamois cream? I used, I used your mask. What do you think? What do you think you do with chamois cream? Anyway, 
This has got some uh, sterilizing tablets in case I feel a need to sterilize myself while I'm away. Uh, this is one of those things that, actually I don't know what this is for, um, but I'm carrying it just in case. It was recommended to me. I saw it in a GCN video and they, it was about, you know, if you're going traveling with your cycling, all the stuff you ought to take. So you should take one of these things. I think it might be to clean your chain. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I've got a razor, so obviously I can shave my legs, shave my armpits, shave my chest. You can see there's a certain amount of hair there. Oh, sorry, I probably banged the microphone. Uh, I can shave, shave my ears. You have a child training inside your ears with a razor. I don't recommend it, especially not a cutthroat razor. That's how Van Gogh started, how Van Gogh ended up. I've got uh, deodorant. This is uh, deodorant, and if you don't know what deodorant is, it's, oh, isn't that nice? You, you, Put it on your, your flesh, usually under your armpits. I don't know why people put it under their armpits. I mean, why not put it on the place? Why not put it in those secret, hard to reach places? Leave a comment down below where you put your deodorant. This is, actually I can't read this. This is, well, it's tablets. I mean, you've always got to take tablets, haven't you? Now the thing is, these might be, right, paracetamol. Uh, they might be neurofen. Uh, they might be insect repellent tablets, they might be sterilizing tablets, if I want to sterilize myself, or they might be hay fever tablets. Now the only way I'm going to know, and I don't even know how I'm going to know, the only way I'm possibly going to know is to take them and see what happens. If nothing happens, then I'll know that that was a success. Here's, um, what's this? Oh, here's a band-aid. Uh, in case I have a bad accident and, uh, you know, my head has to be amputated or something, and they can put the band-aid across, across the neck like that. Here is uh, another packet of tablets. I don't know what these are because they haven't got a label on. Why? Have you ever wondered about this? I tell you, I wonder about this all the time. And in fact, I wrote to Glaxo and AstraZeneca. I said, when you make all these tablets, how do you know, you know, when you put the little code on it, how do you know that that code matches the tablets? I mean, what? What if it all gets mixed up in the factory? I lie awake at night for hours worrying about this kind of stuff. This is, um, now I know what these are. These are minis, okay. And these are, you know when you get you, you get a bit of a stomach ache or you get some trapped wind or something like that. I very rarely have trapped wind because I usually let it out. But this kind of thing, um, it's very important apparently. I read in uh, uh, some guidebooks and I saw a GCN video about it and it said if you go to Ireland, right, make sure you release the trapped wind before you come back to, to Britain. Because of course Ireland, Ireland is in Europe, we're not in Europe. So we're not allowed to take wind that we develop in Ireland back into a sovereign country. Okay, we're only allowed uh, sovereign wind now in the, in the uh, uh, United Kingdom. This is, uh, this is called advanced now I'll hold it up to the camera, it's called Advanced Shave Serum. And this is, is kind of shaving oil. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be entirely honest with you. This stuff does not work, all right? So you, 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 know, you put some on your, your face and you, you have a shave. I've not shaved this morning, but you put some on your face and you have a shave and it, it feels no different than having a shave without this stuff. So you pay, I don't know, £3.79, all right, to get a bottle of nothing. Right, that doesn't work, but because you pay £3.79 and it says advanced shave serum sensitive, you think that's got to work. Tell you a secret, it doesn't work. This is uh, toothpaste. Uh, this toothpaste is, is sensodyne because I have particularly sensitive teeth. I don't know why that is. It might be I've done this to do with eating too much chocolate, too much ice cream as a child, as a middle aged person, even as an older person, and I've damaged all of my teeth, which is why I need to have sensodyne toothpaste. This is um, bite and sting relief. So um, let's say you're, you're cycling through Ireland uh, and you come to one of those one of those bars, you know, and there's a lot of crack going on, you know what I mean? You have a lot of crack. Actually, you don't, you don't snort crack, do you? You smoke it. Oh, okay. Anyway, you go into a bar, you have some crack, and they've got a jukebox and sting. You know, the police comes on the jukebox. I cannot fucking stand sting. So you get some of this, right, sting relief. You put it on your ears, like that little dip, little dab there, in the ear, in the ear, behind the ear, above the ear, below the ear, right, in your mouth. Have a bit of sting relief, and it wipes out the sound. It's like it's like um, noise cancelling headphones, but without the hassle of having something over your ears. Here's another band aid in case the other one doesn't stick, and here's another band aid. 
in case the other one doesn't stick or you, you know have a bad accident get decapitated and they kind of patch me up like that and then I have last but not least uh, a toothbrush and um, I used to have a, a mate in the club I won't, I won't embarrass him by revealing his name but he used to clean his chamois, he used to clean his shorts uh, clean the, the chamois of his shorts with a toothbrush now whether it was this toothbrush well, no, it wouldn't have been this toothbrush, because this is my toothbrush. And this is what I use to clean my shorts. No, it isn't. This is what I use to clean my teeth. <laughs> I got, got you there, got you there, didn't I? I fooled you. And um, anyway, that's what's in Julian's toilet bag. And it goes in this, um, I think it's called one of those kind of packing packing pouches, something like that. You get them from, you get them from Amazon, you get, you get like 80 for, for four quid or something. If you, go to, if you go to Primark, you get 800 for four quid. Can you imagine that? Do a lot of packing with that. Anyway, a packing pouch and I've put all my stuff, including the portable toilet, into the packing pouch and I'm ready for the off. So, you may, you may get a video while I'm away or you may not get a video while I'm away. I'm still kind of toying with the idea. I might just say, you know, I can't be asked. I cannot be asked. I might just take a few photos. I mean, why should I, you know, it's a holiday for me. Why should I spend my holiday making movies for you lot? What have you lot ever done for me? You know, you don't buy me a coffee. Actually, some of you have. The rest of you could buy me a coffee. Uh, you don't buy my T-shirts. Well, some of you bought T-shirts, but not many of them. How about buying some more T-shirts? Um, what else is there? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's what's on the T-shirt, by the way. Or there is no gravel. Well, if you like this video, please like my videos. Uh, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please tell your friends. Please um, watch my videos instead of GCN videos. Actually, somebody left a comment on one of my videos and said, I, I detect a slight note of disdain towards GCN. And I said, no, not at all. I love, I love, I love GCN videos. I would kill, I would kill, yes, to have their, their viewership of my videos, but my production value is never going to be as high as GCN for a whole load of reasons, which I'm not going to go into now. Anyway, um, that's enough. Thanks for watching. See you next time.